Hello, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today we're going to talk about productivity habits. If you are having trouble focusing and being productive throughout the day, then this video is for you. Now, I have to give you a disclaimer. These productivity habits, I got them from Brian Tracy. He's actually a, fa a very famous uh, productivity speaker. Um, and if you are really, really struggling, even after you look at the seven habits that I show to you today, I'm going to give you his channel link down in my description and definitely go watch him because I'm not going to give you um, the encouragement to be productive every single day like he will. So um, today though, I will give you seven habits that are easy to follow and I recommend that you follow them, especially if you're finding that you're busy all day and not getting anything done. I know that happens sometimes. So hopefully these will help you out today. Before we move on and talk about those habits, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell um, so that you can be notified when one of my videos comes out. They do come out every day, Monday through Saturday at 3.30 each day. And my videos are about how to earn money, save time, and find balance. So if that's for you, definitely hit that bell so that you'll be notified when they come out. All right, let's get started. Number one, plan your day. Now you might think, oh, I plan my day. Um, but how do you plan your day? Do you just plan it in your head? Do you even think about planning your day before you go to bed at night? Now, for me, I'm pretty strong on this one. Every night before I go to bed, I write everything down that I want to achieve for the week, what I want to achieve each day. So yes, I have lots of pieces of paper around because I'm still very um, visual. I like things. I like to hold them. I still like to hold books and read them. But I have a notebook when um, school starts and all those little spiral notebooks go on sale at Walmart for like 25 cents. They used to be 10 cents, but I think 25 is about the best now. I'll buy a whole stack of them because I write everything down. Even when I watch other people's videos, I'm sitting there taking notes and so I can go back and refer to them. So write down what you want to achieve for the day. Now you might say, oh my gosh, I have too much. So that's why I do my weekly list or my running list. I call it a running list. So these are the things I'm working on. I always have different projects and then I'll take from that the night before. Okay, what can I get done tomorrow? What has to be done? And then I might put them in order from one to whatever. And I'm really getting pretty good about putting on my list what I can achieve because I've done it so long. And you know, sometimes I might get tired. It might get to be six o'clock at night time to make dinner or whatever and I'll get tired and I might say you know what that one thing can go on tomorrow's list it's okay but not writing it down and just waking up and attacking your day without it being planned is probably why you're not getting much done because you don't have anything directing you if that makes sense because it's very very easy to just kind of uh, meander around and let your day get away from you because I've done it before I've had days where I didn't write it down or maybe I didn't even look at my list and before I know it it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't done anything so number one plan your day number two practice self-discipline self-discipline kind of is connected with planning your day but you could plan your day and then get nothing done because you make a list and then stop there self-discipline do what you're going to say you're going to do. And I think the most self-disciplined people in the whole world, and they're not always wealthy, but are people who work out and take care of themselves. They make a, a commitment to have a healthy lifestyle and they stick with it. To me, in my opinion, that is probably the hardest thing to stick with for self-discipline. And people who do that, I think continue to do that because they find it, they feel like a million bucks, they have all this energy and they feel like they can conquer the world. And then from there, their self-discipline goes into other areas. Um, I've watched it happen to people. So practice self-discipline in your business. Um, practice self-discipline in cleaning your house or maybe making sure meals are prepared. If you start practicing self-discipline in all areas of your life, you're going to see everything start to flourish and you will start being very productive and it's not and it won't even feel overwhelming because you're just going to feel so good about it and you're going to tackle it just do it and move on most people who are not self-disciplined tend to overthink things they're spending so much time thinking about what they should be doing that they're not doing um if you have trouble with it just stop thinking about it just say i know i, I know i have to wash those dishes go wash the dishes and, or I know I have to, um, make a video, just go make the video and, and stop thinking about it. It's okay if it's not perfect. So let's go down to number three, 
rise early. I did not start rising early until I hit 50. All my life, I thought I was a machine because I stayed up late at night. I multitasked, which is not good for focusing. And I, I just stayed up late. And then I ended up getting up. I, it was hard to get up, let's say that, because I was tired um, from being up too late. And I have found since I started getting up early that you are so much more productive in the morning. Um, I, I honestly would not have agreed with that just, you know, a few years ago, but I, it's nothing, my husband and I, the other night, actually, he wasn't feeling good. He had worked all day and um, he uh, has a bad back and he just fell asleep. It was eight o'clock. And I said, let's just go to bed. And he goes, oh my gosh, it's too early. And I said, well, you're not feeling well. Let's just go to bed. But remember, we're going to get up early. Both of us were up the next morning by four o'clock. But he's even like, oh my gosh, like by eight o'clock, we're like half the day is gone. You know, four hours, we've gotten so much done. But Lots of good things happen in the morning. You can be so productive. You're fresh. Your mind is fresh. You're not tired. Uh, you're wide awake. And people who are productive rise early. So if you're, you're, if you're going to bed late, maybe back it up some and try to start getting up earlier. And I know, I know it's a habit that's hard to break. And I know you believe that you're a night person and you get more done. But I think you're going to find, if you if you test me for about 30 days, then come back and let me know. But I bet you're going to find that you get more done when you wake up early. All right, number four, focus. Focus on what you're doing. And this one is actually very hard for me because I tend to be a global person. I tend to see everything I have to do. I'm always doing more than one thing. Um, that's why I have to write it down because I, I literally have to say, you know, I have different notebooks for different things that I'm doing. And I literally have to put the notebook in front of me that I'm working on and do what's written down right there. And then I can pull over the next thing. I'm still working my full-time job and I'm still working this job. This will be my retirement. And one day that job will be gone. And I hope you're with me when that day happens because it will. But right now I have to continue, you know, working that other job. And my husband and I have a, a small mini farm. So we're, you know, we're working with feeding animals and things like that. But the point is I have to write it down, put it right in front of me. And it's so easy sometimes. Like if I'm posting on Facebook, sometimes it's so easy to start. I'm do you ever do that? Do you start just scrolling? Let me just see what everybody's posting today. Let me just start scrolling. Before you know it, 30 minutes has gone by and you've wasted that time. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to check in with friends and family and like their things because you're still part of the, their world, but do it at different time. When you're focused on your work, when you have something specific that you're doing, if I'm going in and I'm posting for my job, then I only post for my job. And I, I have to tell myself, no, stop, stop looking at all that other stuff. And I find then if I'm sitting and watching TV or just relaxing or just, you know, maybe if I'm on my phone, you know, scrolling, I'll do that when it's a relaxing time and it's a time to scroll and, and like other people's stuff. Does that make sense? But when you're in that working mode, focus on what you're doing and don't allow yourself to stray. If you have to, I know I've done this with children, in the classroom um, or homeschool kids when they stray kids who stray sometimes they need to put a timer on so if that's something that you're really really struggling with just set your timer for 10 or 15 minutes and say say okay i i have to do this for that time and and then make the timer go more longer and longer until you realize okay i can sit here for an hour and i know that sounds silly in elementary but it works and it, it will make you focus because you're not going to just all of a sudden become this um king or queen at focusing just because you said you were. You have to work at it and build that habit. That's what productivity habits are about. They're consciously deciding to do these things and doing them. And that's any habit is like that. All right, let's go to number five. Prioritize. Again, when you're making your list, what's important? Now, I have some tasks that have to be done by the end of the week, but they like today, they didn't have to be done today, but I know they have to be done by Friday. So I'll keep that on my running list. But my daily list is when I pull those top three, usually there's three to five things. They have to be done today. And if I get done early, then I go, okay, I can go off to my running list and pick what I want. Um, but it has been really, really successful for me to do it that way. Um, and again, that list has to be like your golden book, you know, your the, the book that you're following um, to get things done. Positive attitude. This is, um, you, you may think you have a positive attitude. 
because you're happy all the time and you're always saying kind things to people. But I even find sometimes when people are like that, they still have this um, habit of maybe judging people because I, I have a friend that does that. Um, very, very positive all the time or a person I know, I'll say. It's more of an acquaintance. Um, but very, very positive all the time. But then yet if you have a conversation, there there's a lot of judgment about this person and that person. And I don't think that this person realizes it because they are so positive. But look at every aspect of your personality and make sure that you really do have a positive attitude. Like when people do things differently than you or things that you don't maybe approve of judging them is just going to make your attitude more sour because they could care less what you think because if they cared they wouldn't be doing that right so really look at your attitude and how you look at other people and and, and yourself and don't let other people sour it and even if you're around other people that have bad attitudes or negative attitudes don't allow their attitude to get into yours and destroy yours. And, it, and really it's a hard thing to do. But if you can do that, I, I always tell myself, put up a shield, you know, and don't let that penetrate into me because I have control over my attitude and I want to keep it positive because the more positive that I feel, the more I'm going to get done and the more energy that I'm going to have. Number seven, be fearless. Don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of what other people think. Don't be afraid to make your first YouTube video. Don't be afraid to start your business because people will criticize you and tell you you're crazy because you're doing something that they really want to do, honestly. And the more you do it, you won't even care what other people think. And don't be afraid to hit that pause button when the phone rings. <laughs> My husband keeps calling me. All right. So have confidence and, and believe in yourself. Believe in what you're doing. And because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So just be fearless. Don't be afraid to fail because you know what? You are going to fail. You're going to fail as you're building your business because nobody's perfect. And when we fail, that's how we learn. Like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. And and there's just little steps that you'll you'll just keep tripping and falling. And, and that's the way life is, right? It happens all the time. It happens in your life. It's going to happen in your business. It's going to happen in your relationships. So you just learn from those mistakes and you keep moving on and just keep trying to be better. Just be better every day. You've heard that saying before. People have used it. Just be better. I want to be better tomorrow or be better today than I was yesterday and have that confidence. Now, Brian Tracy shared those seven productivity habit tips. I'm going to share one more. I got one for myself. I think this one's really important. So this is my bonus. So if you want, if you follow Brian Tracy, you did not get this one, but give yourself grace. And you might say, well, what does that have to be with doing, being productive, like giving myself grace? Because if you do mess up, don't spend two or three days beating yourself up. I mean, you're going to have days that you feel like crying, that you've worked so hard and you're not getting the results that you think you should get. Every single person is different. Yeah, there's people out there that start their business and they're making $10,000 a month within six months. They they just get it. They get it together and it works and, and it and it goes, you know, they, they have that success. There's other people. It takes them a couple of years. I've heard some people say they sat and struggled for six years. Um, so... Give yourself grace that when you're not feeling like you're getting the results that you want, just it's okay. Just keep plugging along. Everything's going to happen. It's all going to come together at the right time, right? Everything has a season. It was There's a time when it's meant to come together and it will. But if you waste that time um, feeling sorry for yourself and, and maybe internally, you know, feeling depressed or wanting to cry, wanting to go get a drink, you know, it's just all those depressing things, then you're not being productive, so pr productivity actually gives you energy. And so maybe you might not see the financial results, but maybe you'll see different results, um, measurements in your business that you can, you can measure success by. And maybe you can make goals. Like I'm going to make a video every day for two months and make that be your goal. And don't worry about the money right away. Or maybe you're going to, um, make the best funnel in the world, you know, and give the, give a really good, um, 
lead magnet and see how many emails you can collect and make that your goal. So just make some small goals that you can measure if you're not meeting those big goals um, right away. So give yourself grace. That's your bonus. All right. Thank you for watching today. Um, again, and thank you for subscribing because I know you're going to do that. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope this helped you today. And like I said, watch Brian Tracy. If you need more of this, go to him, go to his channel and he'll, he'll fill you up every single day. He's got tons of videos in there and um, he knows what he's doing. He's uh, 75 years old, I think, and by now and he's been very successful in business and he knows what he's talking about. Um, so follow him and uh, I'll be following him as well. So have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.